Hey everybody, just wanted to check in real quick with a video announcement uh, as we move into the weekend and we start to wrap up the semester a little bit. Um, hope you guys have been able to keep up with the online modules and the quizzes and the forums and everything. And it, it appears that you guys are really doing great. Um, I know we can't really physically see each other and so um, it can be kind of hard to stay connected in the online world. So uh, just keep it up. We only have a couple uh, weeks left. Um, I really appreciate you guys um, and, and, and everything that you're doing to make the class work at the end of the semester here. If anyone's having any issues or anything, just let me or your lab instructors know. We're here for you. Um, every Monday and Wednesday, 1230 to 130, I have open office hours on Zoom and then lab instructors have open lab times during your regular lab time every Friday. So if you're someone who's just kind of falling behind and you know not really meshing well with the online content, please just let us know and communicate with us. We wanna work with you. Um, we want you to succeed in this class. So there's really only a couple weeks left. A um, Couple announcements as we head into the weekend and the rest of the semester. The first big announcement is that the final exam is coming up. Um, it is gonna be on May 11th. On Monday, May 11th, I'm going to release it, and then I'm going to um, have it be available all day Monday, and then also all day Tuesday, May 12th. So you have two full days to access it, and um, it's going to be um, optional. You do not have to take the final exam. Um, so the way that's going to work is it's going to be delivered on tracks. Once you start taking the test, you'll have uh, two hours to complete it. It'll be a multiple choice, true, false. It'll be based on the lecture videos. It'll be based on the online content. And it will be based on a lot of those quizzes that I've been giving on tracks. Um, so make sure you've been doing everything. I will hold a study session for it as well, just like I did the last one. Um, and again, it will be two hours long. Once you start it, you have two hours to complete it. Uh, true, false, multiple choice, all that stuff. It'll be delivered on tracks, it'll be on assessments, and I'll send reminders about this. So it's optional, and what that means is if you take it and you do better on your midterm than you did on the final, then I will use your midterm exam instead of the final exam. So say you got an 80% on the midterm, but you totally bombed the final exam, well then I'll take that 80% from the midterm and I'll carry it over to the final. So that'll be your final exam grade. If you choose not to take the final exam at all, then again, I will take your midterm grade and carry it over to the final grade. If you do better on the final exam, so you get like a 90% on the final, then I will use that as your final grade. Your midterm grade will stay the same. I'm not gonna overwrite that, but if you do better on the final, then you will get that grade for the final. So um, that's what it means that it's optional. It's gonna be over two different days, May 11th and May 12th. You have all day to start it, but once you start it, you'll have two hours to finish it. The other thing I wanted to announce was that there is an extra credit opportunity at the end of the semester here. What I would like for you to do is go back to the module where I talked about digital photography, which is online module nine and kind of re-go over the um, different skills and, and concepts around digital photography. And I want you to tell the story of your life in quarantine. That can be a day in the life of, it could be just some highlights of your time in quarantine, but basically it's a photo story. You're gonna tell the story of your life or your day in quarantine. Uh, I think it'll be a chance for you to be creative with photography. Uh, think about close-up shots, wide shots, um, and just get used to the um, you know, digital photography world and experiment with some of those uh, skills. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna curate those into 10 photos and you're going to come up with captions. You're going to edit them in a photo editor. You can use Photoshop if you're used to Photoshop. You could use a really great website called Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R.com. And you're gonna use these photo editing tools to crop your photos to um, maybe correct some colors and correct some lighting. And then you're going to add a watermark, which is your name or a logo or something in the bottom right, bottom, top right, top left, bottom left. Somehow you need to add some kind of a layer on that photo to show us that you edited it and that it's your original photo. And so that's part of it. It's not just taking the photos, but actually editing them a little bit. Um, we're not expecting a lot in terms of the editing, just something 
that shows us that you did it. Um, and the for sure way that we'll know that you edited it is by adding your own little logo or your own name on top of it. So just writing your name with text on it. Once you're done editing your photos, then you're going to tweet them out in a series of 10 tweets, kind of like your Twitter scavenger hunt, 10 tweets that explain your story. And so you're gonna use text, captions, and then you're gonna upload the photo, and then you're gonna use some hashtags as well that I want to make sure you use. Once you've tweeted out your 10 you know, tweets, then you're gonna curate those into an, uh, a moment, a Twitter moment, just like you did for the Twitter scavenger hunt, and you're gonna turn in that moment, and that's gonna be extra credit. It's worth 2% of your grade. It's gonna be due on May 3rd, so that is gonna be Sunday, May 3rd. Uh, it's gonna be due by midnight, and there is a spot on tracks, on assessment, on assignments, that you'll see that you can just paste that link there. So that's the second announcement. And then the third announcement is that your video interview assignments are due this Sunday. So this coming Sunday, um, April 26th by midnight. Uh, basically what I'm looking for there is a two to five minute interview with somebody. I realize that you all are in quarantine and you may not be able to get an interview, but I would um, encourage you guys to be as um, creative as you can with that. So. For, for sure, it'd be great if you were quarantined with someone like your family members or friends, people that you already see, you could interview them. That's one option. Another option is to get on Zoom or Skype or something and screen capture you doing an interview with somebody. And, and really the topic of the interview, interview can be whatever you want. Um, it really should tell a story. So maybe think, ask your uh, you know, subject if they could tell you about a certain time in their life when they got their character built in some certain way or they went skydiving, talk about that experience. It could be really whatever you want. Uh, we do encourage that it is related to your blog topic just because that's something that you could actually post on your blog site and why not. So that is one option. Now, if you, if you don't have anyone that you can interview, if you don't have a Skype or Zoom person that you can get, then you can do a video blog, much like I'm doing now where you talk to the camera and you basically talk about as, as if you were talking about something that you would post on your blog anyway. So basically it would have to do with your blog assignment, your, your topic this semester. If you were you know, talking about music and bands that you like, then basically that's what you would do for the video interview. You would just talk about your favorite bands and why they're important to you and you know, provide that information in a video much like this. Your assignment, it has to be two to five minutes long and it has to be posted on YouTube and then you have to post it uh, in our uh, assignments on tracks as a link. So it has to be a public video, make sure that it's public, make sure that it's published, and make sure that you give yourself enough time to upload it to YouTube, because sometimes when you're sitting there waiting for it to upload, it takes a little bit longer than you think. So uh, that's gonna be due Sunday by midnight. If you absolutely can't do any of those options, then please email me and I'll have an alternate assignment for you to do. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. It's good to, good to talk to you virtually. Uh, we only have a couple weeks left, so hang in there and uh, we'll finish this off together. So have a great rest of your week out into the weekend.